Hello there folks, welcome back to another Steam video. My name is Tommy, the Digital Creation Specialist over at the Bathers and Clark Resource Library. Now it's been a while, but we're picking back up on my series all about comics. And this time we're going to be reading in between the lines and taking a look at the gutter. In my previous video, we spoke a bit about all the parts that come together to make the wonderful whole that is a comic book. But this time, we're going to zoom right in on one special part of the comic book. That tiny, or sometimes not so tiny, little line that separates the panels. That's right, the gutter. Some gutters are big, some gutters are small. Heck. Sometimes artists do away with the gutter and have their characters break right through them. But no matter how they're used, their size, their shape, they serve an important role in how we read and understand comic books. The gutter represents the passing of time. Comic book scholar, artist, and all-around super smart guy, Scott McCloud, author of such great books such as Understanding Comics and Reading Comics, describes six different kinds of panel-to-panel -panel transitions using the gutter. These describe the decisions the author and artist make when deciding on what to put in focus in each panel as they move from one to the next, with the gutter representing the passing of time in between. So, movement to movement can be as simple as the movement of a hand waving goodbye to the charging up of a powerful Action to action describes the transition of time between two different actions, such as the beginning and end of a baseball swing, or the throwing and catching of a football. Subject to subject pans between one character to another. Scene to scene moves from one location to another, whereas aspect to aspect is similar but aspect refers to the shifting to another view of the same scene. This is usually done to give the reader a different perspective or to increase the dramatic sense in the scene. Non sequitur is a fancy way of saying not in sequence, or two things that are totally unrelated. These are usually used for comedic effect. Now, how the gutter plays a part in all of this is that, by extending or shrinking this boundary, we can play with the reader's sense of time. Artists can make the gutter bigger, extending our understanding of how much time passes between the panels, or speed things up by having the gutter be quite thin. And it was comic book artist Neil Adams who was the first to actually break the gutter and have his comic book character span the entire comic page, drawing the reader's eye and creating a really dynamic sense of action. And that, my friends, is the basic rundown on the gutter. And that's all I've got to say today, all about comics. So, keep on reading, and until next time, bye-bye!